everyone. Uh, thank you for joining my session today. My name is uh, Dominic and I'm the uh, senior software quality engineer uh, at Red Hat. Uh, currently, uh, at the moment, I'm the uh, member of Camel Tooling team, which, which is uh, specialized for uh, Apache, Camel, Apache Camel framework and we are trying to provide the developer toolings uh, especially, especially for VS Code, and we, but we have also uh, we have also have the extensions and initiatives for other IDEs, other editors, and and other stuff. So today we will be talking especially about how to manage the Camel uh, development lifecycle within VS Code. And before before we start, I would like to maybe kind of explain what the uh, developer tooling itself means. So uh, basically it's about to provide, provide some kind of, kind of uh, additional layer between, between framework or some library or, or something what would developer would like to use for, for his goals at the, uh, the work. And uh, the, the uh, editor or platform he's trying to, to use for that and bring the uh, advanced and uh, or not, not, not advanced, uh, somehow ad enhance, enhance the um, developer experience and user experience with that, with that framework. Because, because most of the time, for example, you have frameworks such as, such as uh, for example, the Camel or, or others and m most of them are, uh, have, has only uh, some kind of command line tools or so that means you need to open the terminal and spend the whole day in, inside terminals you, you need to know the documentation and and uh, other stuff and you need to you know write write the code and run it and you use use the source code all, all the time and this is uh, the way of which we are somehow trying to bypass by, by developer tooling, so bring the better user experience, bring some UI possibilities, how to just easily click on the, on the button and uh, do the whole command line or, or CLI stuff on the background and you are just able to easily, easily interact and use the framework from, from UI. So that's, the, that's, the, that's our mission and that's, that's the goal. All right, so uh, just a just, uh, short agenda what we will discuss today. Uh, first of all, I would like to briefly introduce the Apache Camel, Apache Camel framework itself. What is it, uh, what is it for, how, how it can be useful. Then a short intro about the platform we are, we are uh, bringing the developer tooling to, which is the Visual Studio Code. And that should be the, uh, let's say, a minor part of the presentation and the major, uh, I will be talking about the extension pack for Apache Camel, which is the set of, set of extensions. Um, basically, it's the, it's the tooling we are providing for, for, for the Apache Camel into, into VS Code. And last part, the Camel, Camel developer experience uh, would be about uh, the I will show you the live demo, how easily and quickly you can start or you can, you can continue on, on work uh, as a, let's say, day, daily Camel developer with kind of nice and smooth, easily uh, Camel, Camel experience inside, inside uh, VS Code. Okay, so first of all, uh, the Apache Camel framework. Uh, before we start, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, how many of you maybe heard or, or uh, know or at least or maybe use the Apache Camel? Okay, okay, few few hands raised, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> that was maybe more hands that that on the community overcode <laughs> from the uh, ASF Apache Software Foundation uh, conference I, I had uh, two weeks ago, so that's nice. Uh, all right, so. Just just brief introduction to uh, for the context. So Apache Camel uh, is an open source integration framework. Uh, it allows you to easily integrate and uh, and 
uh, well, it allows you to easily integrate systems uh, using uh, consuming or producing data. Uh, it's based on uh, EIPs, uh, enterprise integration patterns, which, which are, um, let's say, uh, some uh, rules or concepts how to how to configure the integration between between systems using using messages. Uh, Apache Camel is is uh, or or the integration using Apache Camel is defined using Camel roots, which is some kind of abstraction of, of definition using using simple simple rules. Uh, how the whole flow of the integration will looks like. Uh, it's descri is described uh, using the uh, DSLs, domain specific languages. So uh, it doesn't matter if you, or it, it doesn't matter. It, it offers you the uh, common, common DSL like Java, XML, YAML, also, also Groovy, Kotlin, there are, there are other, other options. And each route can be written in each DSL, so you can you can pick pick uh, which one is most let's say comfortable for you to write the write the route in. And uh, what is what is the I would say the main benefit is that uh, Apache Camel uh, offers you uh, offers you hundreds of of components, which basically allows you to integrate with any system uh, for, from scratch. So, so it doesn't matter if you are looking for working with file systems or databases or for consuming messaging or producing messaging. Uh, there are al already some components which, which allows you to, uh, to, to do that. And other benefit is that uh, this, this set or, or database of components is really extensive so where uh, it's uh, ongoing process to to support also uh, other other new new systems and still adding new and new components to you know cover all all systems and and provide the uh, smooth integration for for li a larger uh, uh, systems you you need to you, you want to integrate with. All right, uh, Apache Camel projects. Uh, basically, the Apache Camel framework consists of several projects where each of them is adding um, some, some added value into a whole ecosystem of Apache Camel. And together, they are, they are uh, allowing you to uh, scale, scale, uh, Really, really complex integrations for for larger larger systems. So, most important probably the Camel Core, which which is foundation of of Camel itself, and it, it brings the uh, core features for for routing and med mediation of, of integrations. Then there is the Camel K project, Camel K project, with, with, which which is. Uh, bringing the, uh, which is optimized for Kubernetes. So it, it allows you to orchestrate uh, the, the deployment of integration and, and working with integrations on Kubernetes. So basically it's about to uh, na na native, cl cloud native uh, running of, of integrations inside Kubernetes. Then uh, there is the Camel Quarkus, Camel Spring Boot, and I have I have highlighted the Camel JBank because because for for tooling we are providing the Camel JBank is kind of crucial uh, because um, when I was talking about tooling and which is aimed for developers for for users, the most of the work we are we are doing locally so. Uh, you need to you need to test it, pro prototype the integration, and f for all of these, the Camel JBank is simplifying uh, this this whole process on, on your local. So you can you can easily using Camel JBank to uh, run.
render, render root, create new, and others. Uh, Camel JBank brings the Camel CLI, which which is something you you need to use in terminal, and we are reusing in reusing it uh, and the backend to to uh, bring the bring the uh, uh, options how to how to integrate with Apache Apache Camel framework. So that's the that's the uh, Apache Camel framework uh, in in short. Uh, and uh, let's move into Visual Studio Code. So another question: How many of you is probably Probably I would I would say you know at least you heard but how many of you use the Visual Studio Code? Okay, probably the majority. So that's that's cool. At least I can go faster through 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 that. So uh, Visual Studio Code uh, developed by Microsoft. Uh, it's built on open source. Uh, it's it's really lightweight and powerful powerful code editor. It's not presented as, as an IDE because because the um, crucial uh, crucial uh, thinking about about providing this kind of editor was to provide only lifecycle like uh, quick code build and debug uh, debug uh, stuff. So uh, editor itself. From from the from the default is uh, really lightweight. It consists only uh, from few, let's say few few core features like can can Git be uh, or or Git support or or TypeScript TypeScript JavaScript support because it was it was from 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 the beginning meant meant for 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 web developers as as editor for web developers. But uh, maybe maybe uh, would be good to mention uh, motivation why our team decided to uh, bring the tooling into Visual Studio Code mainly, and uh, the motivation was that uh, a few few it's it's mainly few few years. Uh, it's it's still it's still rising ID IDE editor, and it's becoming more and more pop, more and more popular. And the big feature is that it can run everywhere. So it doesn't matter if you if you would if you prefer to uh, have the Visual Studio Code as standalone application and do do have it installed on on your machine. Or you prefer rather to use it as as a web-based application in your in your browser. For that, there is there is the managed managed instance uh, running running by by Microsoft, which is called VS Code.dev. So you can you you don't need to install that that application on your on your machine, and you can use the same functionality through through browser. Or if you don't like the uh, uh, the instance which is hosted by Microsoft, there is the option uh, called Code Server, which allows you to uh, build and uh, run and deploy your own instance of VS Code, which which you can also modify and pre-configure pre by default with with subset of of additional features. So that, that's also also great and uh, deep. Probably most important and most interesting part is its extens extensible and customizable uh, features uh, or options. Because because Visual Studio Code itself has a kind of nice and big uh, developer API, which allows you to easily uh, contribute to probably each part of, of editor itself. So it doesn't matter if you want to create or bring new editor or provide new options how to integrate with files or or uh, whatever uh, everything everything is possible and in kind of really really uh, short matter of time because there are also uh, generators for creating the examples so you are not starting from the scratch so you you can just generate the the uh, 
exam example or, or bootstrap bootstrap of extension and then, then just start from that. So it's 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 uh, really easy and quickly option how to how to uh, add some new features and provide provide uh, provide new functionalities inside that editor. So uh, that's about that's about VS Code and why we why we decided to choose this and now we can move uh, to the extension pack for Apache Camel. So that's that's the uh, extension extension pack itself consists from from several several extensions several components. Uh, this this extension pack was uh, developed or collected or or let's say grouped uh, by by our team by by Red Hat. And I have I have mentioned there uh, for for extensions which are which are uh, mainly connected to Apache Camel framework itself, but the extension pack uh, is consists from around 20, 20 extensions together. I think it's it's about something around something something twenty and. Uh, I have not mentioned all of all of them because uh, they are not connecting direct connected directly to Camel, but uh, there are that many because each each extension is adding ad, uh, next and added value to to whole life cycle itself because to you know have the have the a uh, whole camel developer experience in in editor it doesn't mean that you you just only need to be able to for example generate the the new camel root or or have some camel uh, code completion on something like that you also need to have options how to for example log into openshift or how to how to interact with kubernetes or you also maybe you are java developer and you will decide to use java dsl but that means you also need to support for Java language itself inside VS Code, which is which is not there by default. So all all of these uh, are also part of extension pack to ensure that whole lifecycle and whole possible needed uh, features will be available at the place by by one click, because you can choose install the pack by one click and everything will be added. Or you can just install the subset or, or only one of two extensions, but then it it basically relies on you uh, if if you will miss miss something or not. So by this we are trying to you know ensure that everything will be in place and and bootstrap the uh, developer experience from the beginning. So these four, the language support, debug adapter, tooling for uh, KMLK and Kaoto are the crucials and mo 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 uh, ma mainly connected to the KML framework itself. Uh, I would like to briefly introduce each of them and after that we can, we can move to the, to the live demonstration because uh, I think uh, when you will see it, it's, it's uh, more understandable and, and uh, better for imagination. So first of all, a language support uh, extension. It brings the IntelliSense, the diagnostics. Uh, it also brings the support of documentation for, for the components, which are which are provided uh, from from uh, Apache Camel. By IntelliSense, I mean mainly the code completion, because when when uh, you are using the DSL to prototyping the new camel root. Uh, the, the components are defined using U, U, URI and for that, uh, when you open the source code editor, you can use the code completion for, for, for uh, you know, invoking the content assistant inside the editor and then you, you, you are easily uh, proposed by camel components for for uh, what you are looking for and also there are proposals for 
properties and for values of properties and other stuff based on the KML catalogs, uh, which, which is specification for e each component, what properties it allows you to use and, and uh, its description and, and other stuff. Also diagnostics, so it helps you to uh, you know, check if if the route is uh, specified well, and and you won't uh, get errors after after just just after deploy. And also feature of creating uh, camel files and and camel projects, so you can also easily uh, and and quickly start from from scratch by just a file new file and and uh, use the examples templates which which we are providing there through through camel jbank uh, to uh, you know for, for the getting started experience is the better better uh, the, the best way how to how to start with with camel so does the does the language support another is uh, the bucket adapter uh, the bucket adapter another crucial extension for for camel because it allows you to, you know, troubleshoot uh, the, the camel routes. So basically, it's about to uh, mainly adding the, the features how to run, or just just run or locally the the route, or run with uh, attaching the debugger. So so uh, th that's you know important when when you. Uh, need to in inspect, for example, or update the variables. There are options how to how to do it through through UI and and really easily and and uh, see and start with troubleshooting the the route itself. Then there is the uh, tooling for Camel K. Uh, this this extension brings the the option how to. Um, deploy and interact with with integration which was which was uh, built for for kubernetes it also uh, brings the options how to view statuses and follow the logs of of uh, integration running and deployed on the on the uh, cluster uh, also uh, enables to publishing config maps resources secrets and and other stuff directly from the from the editor and with this with this extension also also uh, coming the java language support uh, in this in this case it means the uh, standalone camel uh, java dsl support so you are able to you know have only the uh, one file not 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 a whole project so you can you can build Build and uh, uh, deploy, deploy the standalone Camel Java DSL for the whole, whole support of, of Java. Uh, there is the uh, extension pack for for Java, which is which is also part of of Camel or extension pack for Camel. I have mentioned before. And last is the Kaoto, which is which is the uh, no code slash low code visual editor. Uh, it allows you to design camel routes, camel pipes, and that's basically about uh, to provide another uh, improved user experience. Because uh, all before I was talking about was about to you know have the uh, DSL, which is which is again some source code. Or, or some 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 stuff stuff like that. You need to you need to kind of uh, still understood and be be developer, be maybe daily user of of uh, Apache Camel. But with with Kaoto, you are you are it it brings the visualization of of the route. So you see the UI and graphically the the route the the flow. Uh, you have you you can change the parameters using using UI properties tab, and everything everything is kind of I would say easily easily from from Im, is more easily for for imagination of how the how the integration looks like and and for for the 
for example, for the demonstration when you would like to present something to customer, that you have this, this kind of integration system which is consuming this data, it's going through some processes and that producing the data. It's better for demonstration to, to the customer and to the users uh, on, on some uh, user interface or, or vi visual, visual state, not only to show them the, you know, I don't know, 200 of lines of, of source code. So that's the, that's the Kaoto. All right, uh, and that's basically all, all the, all the uh, theory. And now we can move to uh, Camel developer experience uh, in, in VS Code. So for, for, for the demonstration and for the, for the, for the easy, easy imagination how, how the um, Camel developer uh, work in, in VS Code can looks like. Uh, I have decided to choose the, let's say, getting started experience uh, model. So uh, it consists from from few steps. First of all, the uh, camel, init camel root. So basically, it doesn't matter if you uh, use the examples, uh, so some some example which can be generated by by our tooling, or you download some examples from from official. Uh, Apache Camel examples, or you have something already in, in your production and you just want to see it and try to work with it with, with tooling. But you, you need to have some starting point. Then other, other step is to run it locally. Try to, you know, just click the button and was it be, will it be running or not? We will see. It could, could be, <laughs> should be possibly. And then uh, you are not maybe satisfied or you need to make some changes. So then then other step is to make some edits. It doesn't matter in source code or an editor. Uh, it, it's connected together. So you did make change in source code. It will be propagated to visual editor and to the opposite. Uh, if everything goes well, the debug locally is optional part, which is the best way. But as you maybe know, as a developer, that's uh, probably uh, never be the case. So uh, debug locally, again, a better way to debug locally and uh, troubleshoot what's happening and fix everything before we uh, go to deploy, deploy states. So, so uh, uh, debug locally is the way and uh, after, after uh, deploy stuff into Kubernetes and and see see if everything is running as smooth as as what as, as it was uh, locally. So this is the getting started. And with that, I think uh, it's time to bring the theory into practice. So let me let me share the screen of of VS Code. And let's take a look how, how it looks like in 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 practice. So, all right, uh, this is how the VS Code Workbench looks like. So uh, as, as we saw, the major of you should know. Uh, here you can see uh, the extension, extension pack for, uh, as part of VS Code Marketplace. So as I mentioned, uh, it's about 10 extensions, but, be, but if you take a look, uh, on the left part here of, of my installed extensions, there is, there is about 20 of them. And that's because uh, the part of extension pack could be another extension packs. So for example, there is the extension pack uh, for Java, which consists also from another six extensions. And also if some of extensions has some dependencies, it will be also installed uh, if they are uh, required. So currently it's about 20 extensions and now we can take a look how to, how to uh, create and run, debug, deploy new, new camel uh, integration. All right, so easy, easy way is, easiest way is to go through file, new file. Then you can see there is the option for camel file. There is, there are, many options for, for mentioned DSL, so for the uh, 
uh, a demonstration and we go easy with YAML DSL and it will ask you just for for name and you can see there is there is the reason why I, I was highlighting the camel jbang because on the background we are using the camel cli so we are uh, we are also showing user what command and how how the camel cli is used on used on background so there you can see the output command uh, and uh, the route was was generated uh, it was automatically opened by the Kaoto editor, so here you can see the visualization of the of the root. If you would like to see the source code for the same, you can easily open it through through uh, source code editor. So there you can see uh, it side by side. I was also uh, mentioning the edits, so you can easily click on the component and then you know, easily uh, edit, apply, and save the file, so it is automatically propagated also into source. Uh, the the uh, Kauto also provides the uh, catalog of, of components in UI, so if you would like to add the, add the component, you, you can see there is the catalog uh, of it, so everything documented and everything in UI. Uh, all right, so uh, we have the road just just uh, easily and quickly uh, make the run. So on the right top uh, corner, there are three buttons. One is for deploy, another for run, and third button is for run and, and attach the debugger. So uh, if we can run it, just quickly click on the run and in a few seconds, you can see all right, the message is, is generated. So that's for a run locally. Uh, I need to be kind of in a hurry because we don't have a lot of, a lot of time. So uh, I will show you also the debugging. So easily in source code, just, just put the breakpoint on the line and click on the debug. Another you can see there is, there is kind of longer, longer command, uh, which was, which was, uh, done by uh, on background and here you can see the uh, debugger was already attached and you can inspect the variables here so for example body there are no properties variables and headers because it's really just just simple example but you can also inspect those also ex exchanges and and other others so that's that's for debugging and investigating uh, the the routes and uh, in quick just uh, do the do the last part, which is the deploy. So for that, I have already uh, on the background logged into into developer sandbox uh, into Kubernetes. So with that, uh, just click on the deploy, pick pick the uh, options which brings from for which comes from uh, KMLK project, KML CLI, to be precise. So let's go with diff mode. And for that, in, on the, uh, there is the uh, sidebar view, which you can see the integration is already deployed. We can follow the logs directly, follow the logs of, of uh, pod uh, directly in editor, but also on the, on the background, I have the OpenShift console where you can see the pod was, pod was deployed. Uh, and we can also see the see the logs uh, and last thing i would like to show in a quick is that we can also change for example in in editor uh, the the root and uh, the the live reload and hot redeploy uh, will be applied so you can see the message was changed and the last thing we can check the uh, if the Thing really happened also on the OpenShift, so you can see the changed message also there. And that's it. That's that's the tooling in in practice. So thank you. Uh, uh, and with 
with that basically this is this is the way how you can easily interact with with uh, camel within vs code uh, if you if you would be interested more about about it just uh, take a look into into my youtube channel or or reach out to me via linkedin or directly via email or or reach me out uh, here in the lobby so we can discuss anything about developer tooling uh, in general so thank you